Hi, this is Dr. Brian Fulham, Elite Sports Podiatry with another Fulham Fitness Tip. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about running shoes and some of the terminology that goes along with running shoes. So one thing that, that's been discussed a lot, especially since the, the barefoot craze with the, the Vibram Five Finger Shoe, is heel drop. So traditionally running shoes were a 12 millimeter heel drop and almost all of the shoes featured that the rear foot would be 12 millimeters higher than the forefoot. So in a sense, every shoe had the heel raised higher than the forefoot, which for some people actually can help, and other people it might actually cause more of a problem. So this 361 Strata is an eight millimeter drop. The New Balance Xanthi is a six millimeter drop. And then the Ultra, the big feature about Ultras is that they are zero drop. So there's no difference in the heel height between the rear foot and the forefoot. And, and um, Golden Harper, who's the CEO of Ultra, his thought is that's the more natural, better way to run. My feeling on it is whatever works for you. So this might work best for one person, whereas more of a heel drop might be better for others. Um, another feature about the Ultras that I like and I recommend is when people have a bunion or an aroma, this shoe features a squared off toe box, which matches better with our shape of our foot. So if you're a person that has a bunion or a person that's having forefoot pain, possibly from a Morton's Neuroma, the Ultra is an excellent shoe. Um, now, sometimes I want people to be in a higher drop shoe, especially if they're having any kind of heel pain or Achilles pain. It's a little better to have that shoe be a little higher while people are, are in their painful process. Um, but there's a lot of parts and in, in, in important functions of the running shoe, but that, that heel drop is, is something that's a term that gets thrown around a lot. And, and my advice is try to find the shoe that fits your foot the best. Dr. Ben O'Nig is a biomechanist who a lot of his research has led to a lot of innovations in running shoes. And one of his latest papers stated that the most important thing about running shoes is making sure that they feel comfortable when you try them on and when you wear them. And what he's found in his 40 years of research is that there is not a running shoe that will prevent an injury and that people that are more comfortable in their shoes have fewer injuries. So keep that in mind next time you're going to buy your next pair of shoes. Try on a bunch of different pairs. Go with the shoe that feels the most comfortable. This has been Dr. Brian Fulham with another Fulham Fitness Tip.